Cafe Networking Podcast promotes successful business experts. I'm Tom Riach, known as the king of networking, connecting people throughout the world from my podcast studio in Brazil. Today we talk with Lauren St. George, consultant and change facilitator, joining us from Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States. Lauren St. George helps people get unstuck, founder and creator-in-chief of What's Next, a global brand co-creation at Accenture, marketing and brand consultant at Fresh Incorporated. Lauren, you thrive on change, but many business persons become all sweaty when the topic comes up. How to overcome fear of change? That's a great question. Um, I think the first place to start is understanding where that fear comes from. Uh, And to do that, we have to look at uh, how we work and our brain. We are set up um, after, you know, thousands of years of evolution to uh, to seek comfort. We like patterns, we like predictability, um, and anytime something presents itself that breaks that pattern, uh, that disturbs the status quo, uh, rears its head and, and causes fear within us. And that fear is really our primal brain mm. that's there to keep us safe, and it goes into fight or flight mode. And that used to save us from, you know, woolly mammoths. But in this day and age, where there's less predators. Uh, but it it can be ideas. It can be new thoughts. It could be, uh, you know, disrupting our natural patterns that you know causes that fear to to well up. And so I think if we understand what's causing it Mm -hmm. and we can listen to the voices in our head that pop up going, "Mm -mm, Nope, doesn't feel good. Um, or even that feeling in your stomach when you can't put words to it. Um, if you know where that's coming from, I think you can at least stop the thought pattern. You can, you know, stop the voice track in your head and say, you know, is this really scary? What's causing the fear, uh, and address it from that standpoint. Well, we, we need to do that because I see, you know, what you do, uh, you're actually, you, you're involved more with the future, right? When we talk, what comes next is what's coming. And, and many times in the every day, we don't know what's coming. And, and, and that's a fear in itself, you know, what's going to happen. We know something's going to happen. Uh, and, and what is that going to be? So how do we prime ourselves to be ready? Well, we do it systematically and we have a plan. So that's what I work with people on. Um, I work with both companies and individuals, but what's next is specifically for individuals. Mm -hmm. Um, And so I think, you know, you have to start off with really thinking about where you want to get to next. And, And I, and I deal with people on, on what's next, not the rest of their life, right? Because things change. We can make long, long term plans, but we know that life's going to happen. So we focus on what's the what's the next chapter that we want to take on and that can be any part of someone's life it doesn't have to you know just be career i've, I've worked with people across a myriad of of challenges mm-hmm. um and so we have to start at a place of going well where do i want to get to right what are the obstacles that are preventing me from getting there how do i overcome those obstacles and then put a plan in place to systematically do that and those are natural ways the tools that I use are natural ways that people will solve, solve problems, um, but it's in a systematic framework that helps people to to go through and to really think through it, um, but in a, a fun and a creative way because we've got to tap into different parts of our brain that maybe we haven't used before. And right. so the methodologies I use are really to help people come at things from different angles. And what you say about the challenges that are come up, the obstacles – uh, it's really to, to understand that they will be there, not necessarily be afraid when they show up. So it's just a natural exactly. thing. It's just going to be part of nature's course. That they're going to they're going to show up, and you need to be prepared to do something. And I think thinking through those obstacles in a way is is risk. It's risk mitigation. Mm-hmm. If you can think ahead to what might come up in your road, um, you can decide: Are these things that are small enough that I can deal with them? Um, are they going to take more energy or they, are they insurmountable and I've got to figure out how to get around them because I just can't move that boulder that's in my way. Right. So I think the more we think about those obstacles and we plan ahead to overcome them should they pop up, um, the more successful our plan will be. We're talking about people, but that's the same for companies. That's the same for brands. Absolutely is. And so, you know, my background is both in consulting and coaching. Mm-hmm. And so the, the methods and uh, the processes that, that I use with businesses work just as well for individuals. Um, so 
that is a rewarding thing that that you know I, I work with business people who are used to doing things a certain way and and I think it's a revelation when they see you can actually take um, the things that you do in your business and apply it to your life well that's where fresh comes from right it is uh, yeah my my consultancy fresh has helped uh, businesses launch products launch new services um, and, and there we're thinking again, strategy of how to launch into the marketplace. And at the end of the day, it's understanding humans. Um, that's all that I do, right? Is, is understand <laughs> that's humans a challenge in itself, right? <laughs> it is. What are our motivations would make us tick? Absolutely. Very good. So, so how can yeah. our listeners find you? They can find me at uh, answerwhatsnext.com. That's my website. Um, and through the website, you can book a call with me. You can send me an email. Uh, you can also reach me at lauren at answerwhatsnext.com. Very good. Well, Lauren, thanks again for being part of our show. Thank you. And for our audience, again, it's Lauren St. George. It's L-A-U-R-E-N, St. That's S-T, last name G-E-O-R-G-E find her at answerwhatsnext.com. You also find her on LinkedIn, again, Lauren St. George. Thanks again for being here, Lauren. Thank you so much. The Cafe Networking is brought to us by Focus MI Market Intelligence, an agricultural market research specialist in Brazil. More information at focusmi.com. Thanks for listening. Until the next time here at Cafe and Networking Podcast.